Well, Soul Searching was a highlight as as a record. I think it was like probably the the next really good album that we did. Uh, it was pretty solid song for song, and and it was the the idea of it wasn't really a concept album, but it it was a concept of sorts in that we had an overture and then an outro, and and Roger did some fabulous work on it. Um, he wrote great horns and uh, putting the overture together and then there's a, a song on there called Would You Stay which has probably Roger's best horn arrangement I think it was like a real almost like a big band kind of Ray Charles type of type of thing things like that I Love Your Own is obviously a Queen of My Soul um, and then in, into the live album was just uh, when Atlantic suggested doing a live album. <laughs> yes. Who's who's the seventh person? Uh, Bruce McCaskill. Ah, is that like a trivia question? Bruce was a uh, Bruce was an integral part of the whole thing. He really got us. To, he sold his Mercedes so that we we could get to America for the first tour. Wow. You know. And he was around from the beginning. He he loved the band from the first time he heard it. He he'd been he used to work with Eric Clapton uh, as a road manager, and he just finished working with Eric. I think when when we were starting to rehearse at the very beginning, and he just loved it. And he stayed with us. Um, he was there almost all the way, you know, and and became our sort of de facto manager. Um, and uh, was a, was a great character and uh, and part of the whole package, as it were, you know, on the road. Can't can ask you a question about soul searching before we move on. Sure, yeah, sure. So I'm looking at the track list, and um, by the way, "Love of Your Own" my favorite all time AWB ballad. Um. I'm not sure about elsewhere, but in Los Angeles, I mean, that was heavy, heavy rotation on R&B radio. Looking at the liner notes, you know, it, it says lead vocals, backing vocals, bass, and it has both you and Alan. So I wanted to ask you, how did you decide, you know, who would do which vocal, who would do bass, who would do guitar? How was that figured out with you and Alan? Um, well, most of it kind of, it kind of just came out of the jamming kind of thing not on a love of your own a love of your own was uh was a two voice thing anyway because I, I wrote it with ned doheny and ned sang the low part we sang an octave thing and, and bits where the voices sang harmony so that's where those two vocals it had to be a two voice thing some things that we did alan would take the lead if he'd written the song it was usually whoever wrote the lyric would would sing lead apart from person to person alan wrote the lyric but it was my idea uh my concept as it were being on the road and on the phone and all that kind of stuff but I, so i sang that um as far as playing bass went it would really we had two bass rigs set up by this time on the road so uh on a sound check whoever played the bass on the original groove would wind up playing it on the record like uh i'm the one on on soul searching that that was a that was a sound check groove originally and then soul searching alan alan wrote on piano so when he came in to the studio with the song he played it on piano so i played bass i, I came up with the bass line and, and did that so it would it would um or if Alan came up with a guitar line in soundcheck, then I'd pick up the bass, and, and it kind of worked like that, really. It was wherever the idea came from. So you seem to have a lot of give and take in a way, because you would trade off on vocally, you trade off on instruments, and you had yeah. also two saxophone players who could trade yeah. off on the sax lines, and you had um, Ani also on guitar, so you and he could maybe trade off on some things. Yeah, it was always um, it was very democratic and, and easy 
to do. Everything just kind of fell into place. You know, there wasn't any kind of, oh, well, I should play on that. No, no, I should play on that. There was never, that never, that never occurred. That never came into the equation. It was just, the, it just, it felt very, everything was very natural. It's just the way it was, you know. It was, that was part of the chemistry that we had when it was really firing on all cylinders, you know.